and it's 2.34. The journey will begin. Let's go inside the machine. Woohoo! Quickly, cat, get in. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Now we're in a ship. Totally it's... a time lord. <laughs> it's 2.36. We have a great possibility of reaching the target in good condition. We'll soon be on our way to the third reality. Are you excited, friend? Maybe I would be excited if I could understand more about the realities. You'll soon understand. The answers are not easy to recognize. Huh, that sounds strange to me, sir. Time goes as it has to in order for you to be alive. <laughs> it's motorbike powered. <laughs> if it all happened now, you'd probably explode. Are you telling me that the answers I'm looking for will come to me when they want? Not exactly. You know what? I'd rather say through time you have to explore and experience to understand. This means the answers will come when you find them, not when the others tell you how or where to find them. Ah, I see. Well, I'm excited now. You woke up my curiousness. That's the best thing you can do for yourself. Be curious and you'll always be amazed. But now, friend, we have to get things done. Talking won't get you home. What things, sir? The machine needs some maintenance, and I think you would do incredible work. Here are the fireberries and the water you gathered before. Uh-huh. You'll need them to get the water pumping, pump working again and the fuel mixed. And you find information when you enter the room to the left. I but like that you've free. given him the voice of some sideshow carnival barker. <laughs> but feel free to enter any room you wish. I'll be quite busy fixing the automatic driver. But if you have something to ask, I'll be here. Alright. See you soon. Alright, sir, I'll do it. See you soon. Uh, push it. Push the button on the wall uh, behind your head. Alright. Uh oh. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, there's the little Mr. Moon. The mechanical one. Okay, okay. What's this? Oh. Okay. A keyhole and a button. Feels like something is missing. There's a key. Okay. I don't have a key. What's this? I wonder what kind of things this machine counts. Oh, this looks like a ma mathematical problem. Yay, math. Lovely bears. They hold each other's hand. That's the King ZR. I recognize him. <laughs> What's up here? Curiosity! Oh, the ladder leads to a door, but it's closed. Oh, that's probably a good thing. It's probably outside. <laughs> oh. This door? Gotta press the button. Oh my god. The door is closed. Maybe if we can open it later. Oh, okay. Oh. That's not a door I can open. I guess you gotta go through the other door then. But that. Oh, okay. <coughs> <coughs> The one up there. Okay. So let's see what we got here. We got a spinning top. Wow, that's a huge spinning top. I'm guessing this may be the engine. Interesting. Ah, whoa. Chemistry. Hmm. Let me see. Hmm. AFM missing. Uh, I'll deal with that in a little bit. Wasn't there AM, AFM on the shelf there? Maybe. Oh, um, here we go. Chemical mixture. <laughs> yeah, you take some N166, put it in the R15. Okay. <clears throat> and then you put the R15, R15 will into... apparently produce, you yeah. know. Hmm. No way. Oh, it's eight eighteen. Never mind. Science. All right. Let's see. Let's just look around here. The face has no flowers. Well, let's just leave it here. Pencil. Hmm. Are those drink to drink water? They're quite small. 
Oh, friend. Oh, what's this? Okay. I guess if the light is red, it's not working. Alright, uh, that looks like it needs tape. Hmm, it's totally empty. Okay, Maybe the water goes in there. Maybe if... Maybe. The pump is now filled with water. Okay. What is that? Okay, let's stop the dripping. Um, so now we need tape or something to plug it up with. What does this say? Ah, this is how it works. Alright, so put water in there. We did that. Mm hmm. That thing needs to be sideways. This thing needs to be plugged in. You gotta the flip to the right and light the match. Right and light the match. But the tube is a little fucked up. I don't know if it'll work the way it's supposed to. And hit the water. Okay. I'm gonna go into the other room real quick just to see if there was anything that could be used. There's tape on the table down there. <laughs> tape. Hey, I got tape. Point. Mm -hmm. Alright, click into this. There we go. Water. And green, green light. Tapes. I should something because that text so went really fast. <laughs> All right, so that's working. So now I gotta probably figure out what the heck this is all about with berries. Um, all right. Can you put the fire berries in the top left jar? That one? Yeah. Okay. Fire berries. They aren't fire in the vase. Ready? Okay. So. So, pull up or pull up that diagram again. All right. Okay. So AFM, you see down at the bottom, it says fire berries of Fugia merzensis. AFM. Okay. So. We gotta get N one sixty six into the flask on the right. Okay. So. It's going to produce two liquids, the R15 and the N166. It's going to produce two PF and A118. A118 is going to be AFM, and you can combine that with two PF into the final jar. Have a what? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, okay. And I oh, think you might need to pop pills before getting them on fire, to get them on fire or something. Me. Uh, I don't know. Because it does show the two different states here. there. Let me see if I can use pills. Oh, I can! Wow! Oh! Oh, hi! Me? With long hair and eyeballs for arms? Seconds and minutes, hours and days. Tick tock, tick tock. I forgot to understand you. I forgot to give myself some love. Seconds and minutes, hours and days. Alright, uh, she's kind of. Uh, I, I don't think the berries have to be on fire anymore. Nope. All right, let's just uh, get rid of that shit. Let's figure this out. All right, there's the N166. Let's put some of that in the right-hand uh, flask. Nope. No. Did it already. Okay, <laughs> I guess it automatically did. I don't know. It, it, it'll I need R, R. Yeah, it'll need R15 and the one to its left. That one. Okay. Okay, and, and then. Got the fireberries. Um, do you think? Which is... Yep, you gotta get the burner going. Oh. Okay. Uh, underneath yeah, the. Uh... Yeah, I got it. Boop. Okay. Do your thing, chemistry. I, I think there's another burner course. supposed to go in there too, somewhere, isn't it? Oh nope, there we go. It's doing a thing. 
so slow. Oh, hang on, hang on. Well, I think you need to do some of those yeah. tubes. You need to do some of the tubes on the table too. Ah, oh, damn. Okay. This pink hose may be good to connect somewhere. Blue hose ready to use. All right. Um, so okay. put put one from the uh, the pink one from the uh, orange liquid to the green liquid what's left. Yeah. Huh? What? It just automatically did that. I think this is right. Yes, it is. I'm glad you know, Fran, because I don't know what I'm doing. I failed chemistry when I was in school. <laughs> um, so, uh, uh... Looks like something's... Missing. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's look back at the diagram. Okay, so... Alright, um... If that's right, then... Okay, well... I was kind of thinking that the pink cord was this, and the blue cord was that, so we would... Was that what you were thinking? No, I was thinking you needed to find a way to drain them to the two j jars below them. Okay, so the blue thing needs to be to the right, and the red thing needs to be to the left. I think I did that already. Yep. Yep, okay. So... Are you able, are you able to move the, um... The orange bottle or the orange jar? No. Hmm. Hmm. This being here does not make any sense to me. This pink tube. Right. This, okay. I'm gonna look around, see if there was anything else. Oh wait. Oh, another tube. God damn it. <laughs> uh. This game sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Now we're cooking. I hope. <laughs> mm. Everything's connected. Should do something. Hmm. Alright, so that's diddled. There's a two. Well, okay, so there's this tube thing. I'm assuming that's supposed to be a tube that yeah. is unaccounted for. Alright. Get word! Oh boy! You're a clown in this. Uh, that's kind of creepy. Turn that off. <laughs> I don't like you so much in that form. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's go on this one. Tube, is there a tube somewhere? What's this room look like on your pills? Oh, yeah, I haven't been on pills in here yet. The twins. Hi, twins. Are you are you here to kill Itward? Oh, they're smiling really creepily. And holding a key. Oh boy. Ooh, uh. All right. Maybe the tubes in the thingy. Good lord. Hey, go to the little stage thingy. Put the key in there. <laughs> I know. Oh, let's do it. I hope there's a tube. I don't know why. There you go. Let's see what happens. In a world made of darkness and light. Two little sisters tried to steal each other's charm, but none of the sides could decide if what they were was just right. Mia was angry and Clara was sad. And this was because they both were mad. Oh, insane little girls. Inside of their minds. It were the creature of the night. He came always around in dreams or reality, teaching the girls the splendor of duality. <laughs> but they couldn't understand. It were was a friend. It was was the thing link between darkness and light. He was gray. But Clara and Mia only one day decided to get rid of it word once and for all. Die, creature of the night, die, they said. But they killed each other instead. Dead and gone. Okay. The sisters kept complaining about each other. 
It's all your fart cl fault, Clara. <laughs> it's all your fault, Mia. All her farts, indeed. <laughs> then Edward came to visit for the last time. And he said... What'd he say? You are both trapped. In the world of disconnections. But I'll give you a chance. The world has been mean to you. They sewed your bodies together. To prove that they could. They gave you a mirror to compare yourselves. I'll give you nothing but what you already have. And just one tiny little chance. To understand the purpose of life. But the clock is ticking. You have until the day of a black cat goes missing. <clears throat> and the well's magic door is unlocked. The end. Hmm. Interesting. Apparently they didn't learn. Yeah, I guess. And I guess that's it. Huh. No tube. <laughs> Head back into the other room. Alright. Mm -hmm. Oh, can I borrow this tube? I wonder you what this machine does. Poop. Edward, I need a tube! Hey, there's a pipe on the boiler there. Green pipe. Boiler? Uh, a little pipe, or a little um, chimney vent by the top. Oh, See the green uh, tubes? Damn. <laughs> Point and clicks, eh? Yep. Octopus go. hose. Octopus hose. Alright. <laughs> now. You doing the thing yet? You doing the thing? You're shitting me. That's the achievement, but alright. Am I really going to use another walkthrough for this thing? I don't know, are I, we? Like, I don't know, like, I, I've... There's nothing else I can think of. Hmm. That's what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, that's exactly... Exactly it. I'm just gonna go ahead and, like, remake sure that I did everything. Re redo the uh, potions. 2PF in the next speaker. R15 in the next speaker. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure this is all whatever. And N166 in the final beaker. And finally N166 in the last speaker. What? <laughs> what the hell? Apparently we just needed to reset the system. That was everything we did it right the first time. Oh it just needed to be kicked in the butt. Oh! In the butt. Stupid. Stupid, 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 stupid. Alright, so now that's done. Edward. Fran, I finally managed to fix the automatic driver. Do you need help? I think I managed myself quite well, too. I did all that you asked of me. Very well, Fran. Everything seems to be working perfectly. Yes, everything looks absolutely great. What shall we do now, sir? Well, I wanted to ask you if you are afraid of rabbits. There's a little rabbit on one of those rooms, and I'm... I'm deeply afraid of it. <laughs> Would you <laughs> like to help me get rid of it? A rabbit? I guess it depends on the rabbit, sir. With all the things I've seen, I can't just imagine one kind of rabbit. Is it a chocolate rabbit? Or one with horns and killer eyes? <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a Monty Python reference. <laughs> You'll have to see it for yourself. It has a pink nose and blue boots. 
It's just sitting there. No blinking, no movement. It's staring all the time. It does ve sound very scary, sir. But show it to me, otherwise I'll never know. Brave you are, dear. Follow me now. Okay. Right. I think this is probably going to be the last thing we do. Is to take a look at this rabbit. I Let's take a look. The thing outside the door. I mean, if it were scared of this rabbit, I'm kind of uh, not ready to see what it is. Maybe it's actually a normal rabbit. Oh, okay. Look at him there. There, see? It's just sitting there. Isn't that strange behavior? <laughs> it's just a toy. <laughs> but when I see it's just a toy, sir, it won't move. Would you please try to make contact with it? I don't dare to touch it. All right, Phobias sir. are funny things. <laughs> I'll take the rabbit and I'll show you there's nothing to be afraid of. And there's gonna be something to be afraid of. Die. There's gonna be something to be afraid of. See, it's just a fluffy rabbit. Nothing to be afraid of. Oh, you're right, Fran. There's nothing to be afraid of. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> well, don't go, Mr. Midnight. This you is not son funny. of a bitch. Uh, Edward, I liked you. What are you doing, man? We trusted you. Fuck. Tune in next time, everybody. Yep, tune in next time and we'll do a little room escape. <laughs> and we'll get our cat back. Edward stabbed me in the back. I like him. And he used a stuffed rabbit to do it. Yeah. Hmm. I still think that he might be good, but he has weird ways of showing it or weird motives. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, he has strange motives, all right. 